half is over. Uh, I'm doing a double measure on statistics and that's Um, some commonly asked mathematic questions at both the high school level and college levels. And if you need some homework help or tutoring, check out the links in the description below. So now let's jump in to our session. Okay. So the first question, it asks what is the definition of conjugate in math? Okay. So here are a couple of things I want to mention. So a math conjugate is formed by changing the sign between two terms. In binomial. Yeah. So coming up will be an example. So um, I would say the conjugate for x plus y will be oops, just move. just need to adjust the screen a little bit. So the conjugate for x plus y will be x minus y. And uh, so same thing, the so conjugate for x minus y will be x plus y. So as you can see from the example, we just simply change the plus sign to minus sign. Yep. So when we are calculating with the real numbers, let's say uh, 10 x plus two, the conjugate of 10x plus 2 be 10x minus 2. And uh, with 5x, uh, let's say plus 4, will be 5x minus 4. Mm -hmm. So since we know the definition uh, for conjugate is, we're going to develop a little bit. So if we want to take the conjugate of x plus 2 and uh, x minus 2 and then we multiply them together what we'll have is x plus 2 times x minus 2 and if we do the calculation, this part will give us as x squared minus 2x plus 2x plus minus 4, which will be x squared minus 4. And I notice that the two terms, positive 2x and negative 2x, they cancel each other during the uh, simplifying process. So x squared minus 4 actually is the only terms that is left and which is also a difference of two squares. So in fact, we also have a formula, I'll write it down here, which is when we use a squared minus b squared, which is in this case, x will be a and four will be two, because four can also be written as two squared, is equal to a plus b times a minus b which is um, very useful when we're solving the problem. So let's just do another example. So if we are ha having a question like one over two minus root three, and in this case, if we want to rationalize uh, this fraction, we will need to multiply to uh, multiply the conjugate of two minus root three, which will be two 
plus root 3. But since we need to maintain the same alpha fraction, so we need to do the same thing for the numerator. And this will give us 2 plus root 3 over 2 square minus root 3 square, which will be 2 plus root 3, 4 minus 3. And which will give us 2 plus root 3 as our final example. So that's pretty much what we have for the first question. So we'll just leave a comment there. Thank <laughs> you.